200 years, uh, 400 years uh, Croatia cuisine. He uh, uh, inherited, you know, this uh, this job from uh, his family. This hotel is unique because this is a museum hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a wonderful pleasure to be in Croatia, the capital city. It's a Zagreb, and we are here in one of the most historic and iconic hotel, Hotel Puntia. And this is a wonderful pleasure to be here with our president, Mr. Tizani Haddad, who runs this organization, Fizet, since almost three decades. And his wonderful leadership make our organization one of the best and prestigious organizations in the history of tourism, travel, and of course, to export the destination around the world. Thank you very much, Mr. President, joining us. It's a great pleasure. Thank you for flying from Tunisia to join this Marco Polo. It's a great, great event we saw yesterday. And likewise, our president, visit president from Croatia, Tina. Wonderful lady. Wonderful lady. Very active. And you contributed a lot. And yes, my friend from Turkey with, with her wonderful wife, they are here to join Marco Polo event and we are enjoying since a couple of days. It's a beautiful weather in Croatia, one of the nicest weather I'd like to say. In December almost we are in the Christmas, but the vibes is like a summer. And friend from this hotel, Puntia. And of course I should not miss him. He's a great guy. I told him I gave a compliment, he's just like a twenty. <laughs> Okay, let's let's talk something about this hotel. Give a short introduction. What is the reason this hotel has a, such a wonderful impression in, among the Croatian, among the tourists that visit in this city? My okay. family tradition in gastronomy. Okay. Two hundred years. I fifty generation. And your forefather established this My hotel. My father, grandfather, grandfather, yeah. grand grandfather. Great, 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 yes, grandfather yes, established yes. this hotel. This hotel established Puntia. My uh, last name. Oh, last name. Oh, yes. last name. Very nice. And uh, what is the speciality of this hotel? What oh, makes us all uh, food? Uh, old Croatia uh, cook. Uh, old uh, Croatia recipe. Yes, uh, cuisine. Uh, cuisine in uh, uh, recipe. Uh, Two hundred years. Uh, Four hundred years. Uh, Croatia cuisine. This uh, is something like a museum, yes. Museum of gastronomy. And we will entertain Big. this. Okay. Thank you very much. And our president will have something to say about uh, this wonderful hotel and the locations. Mm. Yes, please. Well, what do you would like the... to say? Where you yeah. are with our Of visit. course, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm not here for the first time. Yes. Uh, I remember that many times we came to Croatia. Yes. And of course, we are hosted by uh, the uh, owner of this restaurant. And uh, as he said, you know, he uh, uh, inherited, you know, this uh, this job from uh, his family. And when we come here, we can taste yes. many, many recipes, you know, Croatian recipes, very delicious. Are you excited yeah. to take a tour of this one? Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course you will. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I should not miss one of the wonderful lady in this video, Mariana, of course, the General Secretary of FZ International. And she is the one who took us in this beautiful place. Uh, what is the thing that you think we have to visit this hotel? This hotel is unique because this is a museum hotel mm -hmm. and uh, with uh, a long term heritage. And uh, they founded the hotel uh, almost 200 years ago. Mm -hmm. It started like as you know, the, one of the first uh, you know, restaurants in the Zagreb with all tradition and traditional food. Oh. And uh, Mr. Puntiar continue to uh, reconstruct the, you know, the hotel to make rooms like as uh, small museums. You yeah. you can find you know some things and some museum uh, items in the, in uh, rooms. Then she has the bibliotheque of uh, gastronomy special. and the books of gastronomy and cookbooks. And yeah. they have one special surprise for you with <laughs> champagne, and she will show you and. Uh, 
the uh, the last thing is that uh, this hotel and this restaurant is uh, with one label in Croatian tourism. Th that label make them with uh, special traditional food in Zagreb for for Zagreb region for con exactly for continental part of Croatia. And you know there are not many hotels with labels for uh, all the traditional food in the continental part. They, are, they have to get it, uh, you know, with uh, gastronomy, with traditional food and with quality of serving the food. Very nice. Okay. Uh, and we are excited to take a tour of this hotel and of course our, our friend from Vienna, it's a pleasure having you in this tour. Okay, very nice. That's My wine cellar and uh, welcome drink, open champagne. No, 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 and I'm going to publish it uh, on my Facebook. Yeah, did you think that uh, what you were going to do at that time? Yes, yes, yes. It was a oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there are not so many, uh, uh, you know, so many people who open the champagne in this time. In the one sort, it's very hard. This is the first time in my life I opened the bottle with knife, with, 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 um, fantastic. No, no, I'm a brave woman. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a brave woman. She does. She will leave. She will leave. She will leave. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, boy, he asked us for dinner already. I wanted to protect uh, champagne 80, uh, 91 year. That's been almost uh, more than 180 years ago. And they couldn't do that by, uh, you know, Madrid uh, agreement to do that. And they uh, were trying later and they did it in, uh, in 19, 19, 19, 19 years, exactly uh, 50 years later. And, uh, you know, in that time everything was champagne. Okay. To bo tudi bolje rekli nek ja, ja ne izbaš s engleskim tak doma. Francuska je pokušala zaštititi šampanju i naziv šampanja s 1891. godine Madridskim ugovorom nije uspjela. Uspjela je Versijskim ugovorom 1919. a da onda se je svakdje izvala šampanja. As the Wona said here, we have like 5000 tourist books, including the first tourist book of Jagrave and many more. Ladies and gentlemen, the speciality and the most significant fact about this museum is Pop Bendict was here in the hotel and he used uh, something like a dinner plates and many more what he used here and the photographs and everything was kept so nicely mm, this is very important history we can find here about Jagreb. we are here in one of the most important historical museum is regarding Jagreb tourism ladies and gentlemen I feel so blessed to be here, seeing Pope Benedict was here and the plates and everything, utensils, what he had used during his stay in the hotel was kept very nicely and all the incense uh, utensils and many more. And most importantly, here is the oldest tourist book of Jagreb. I mean, the first tourist book of Jagreb is here. And likewise, here are almost 3,000 books and sculptures regarding the Jagreb tourism. So, I'm again here with the wonderful personality of the tourism industry, our president. What did you feel being here in, in, in this museum? I think it's fantastic. It's a fantastic. great job and yeah. you have to make a lot of uh, publicity to let people know yeah. about this museum. Yeah, Mariana, 
you are the person who took us here. I'm very grateful because of your efforts to get us here. It's a wonderful and incredible opportunity. Yeah. I may see the sea, I may see the forest, I may see the lakes, I may hang out in the city center, but it's something unique that we yeah. never happened before. Yes, you're right. Yeah. And it was the reason that we always include Mr. Puntiar and his hotel in our visit for uh, mm. international guests. You understood the value of this place. Yes. And my friend, she just opened champagne with knife for the first time in her history. <laughs> yeah, even though she has drunk a lot of wine bottles, but first time. First it's time so unique in my life. Exactly. My life. Exactly. And yes, uh, my friend from Turkey again. What did you feel being here, sir? It is the fifth time uh, that I am I, I am here. Yes. It is something really. Sh every time it is something uh, different. Different. Yes, I feel. Uh, you feel always this special. I feel the part of the human culture. Right. It is something extraordinary. Extraordinary. Congratulations. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Thank you. And Tina, would you like to say something about this as a president of visit? What do you want to say about the museum? Uh, this is fantastic. It's fantastic. It's unique. Sure. The owner of the hotels. My friend, tell me the speciality and the basic feature of this museum. And major uh, attraction. Old, old cookbooks. Yes. Uh, first cookbook uh, of Croatia. printing in Croatian language. Okay. Last uh, uh, 220 years, years ago. old. Okay. Ago. And uh, 3,000 tourist books. Right? Uh, yes, uh, yeah. no, 3,000 cookbooks, cookbooks. Okay. 2,000 menu, okay. and 1,000 tourist books. And the Pro Bandit visited here? Yes. How many and times? And two catering, uh, uh, Pope, uh, Pope John Paul II visit in Zagreb, yeah. and restaurant cooking, two catering. How was your feelings meeting him? Special. <laughs> so, President, what can we do to preserve this kind of history in every beautiful city in, in, in the world? I think, you know, as a very present. Thing very important, but I think we mm. have to promote, promote this kind of uh, museums because uh, uh, they should uh, uh, be put at the seen by many tourists uh, to come yes. here and even by you know, uh, Croatian people to come yeah. here and yeah. uh, because it's explore the history. Yes. There are some cookbooks from different parts of, of the world. Even Mexican as well, Mexican, I saw. They are Caribbean. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. interesting. Moroccan. Oh my God. Turkish. And they have cat the world. Uh, from the oh, world. Oh, nice. Yes. Mexican, Irish, yes, uh, Mexican, Moroccan, Turkish. Yes, 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 yes. Printing in Leipzig last uh, 106 years. Printing in Zagreb. <laughs> Very good. And tourist book, Croatia. Celex, uh, last uh, 100 French language. Oh, yeah. uh, in the night, three, four, five page open, and very, very good sleep. Okay. <laughs> 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 and the uh, fridge uh, and uh, 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 shopping list and uh, in the kitchen uh, uh, all the incense yes and cooking how many years were those things 100 uh, years 120 30 40 years the vlog is still gives the time yes and food yes how long before? 130 uh, years. This was yes. made by the wood. It's a wood. wood, 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 yes. Oh, no, no. And, and uh, does it work now or not? 
Uh, yes, yes, no, no problem. In ice and <laughs> yes. And what is that? Salami cake. Oh, nice. Beautiful. And meat and uh, salami production. Good books of Sweden. Sweden, yes. Austria and Hungary country. It's a modest town. It's a modest town. Smallest cookbook in the world. Two centimeter, two centimeter. This is the cookbook. Yes. Can you read One hundred recipe. Oh my God! How can we read this? <laughs> in uh, lupa looking, <laughs> and uh, one hundred thirty-six so, year. And just thing? moment. Oh my God! This is so interesting. Okay. Oh, we have been here, baby. Wow. <laughs> and the smallest cookbook in the world, ladies and gentlemen. It's a history. German language. 130 uh, 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 six, uh, pages. Oh. 100 recipe. Oh. 123 years <laughs> old. And the German language. And German language. Can you read that one or not? No. Not because of language, yeah. And. Four books in the world. Two Austria, one Prague, one I. I think it's not in the market, right? Moda, moda. <laughs> no, in uh, in uh, family. My family, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a wonderful pleasure for me because for the first time in history, I'm a book lover, of course. I have written four books published already. And I have read probably thousands of books. Every night I used to read a book. I'm bookholics. It's a wonderful pleasure having with the world's smallest book on my hand this one right here i'm in chagrib and in the hotel puntiar i found this book world's smallest book written in the german language and it was published just four copies and one of them is here hotel puntiar run by the puntiar family it's so special it's privileged wonderful i cannot read the language but i know the vibes 106 recipes 136 pages it's so incredible and book is just like half inches oh my god it's so delicate printing in uh, bible paper printing in bible paper okay yes. my friend tell me something about this book what special book you have now what do you want to say about the book very, very special very uh, interesting uh, interesting recipe and uh, how did you get this one in the museum uh, my family your family brought yes, it here yes, yes. yeah can no, we buy this in the market or grandfather can we buy this in the market no no no, 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 no way no, no. and have you applied any recipe from here to your cooking yes in a restaurant uh, oh my god three four five recipe, recipe yes oh this is incredible okay. not in the yes, market no, no, no for the sale the no. not for the sale no. it's a oh nice it's in german language and Vienna Kovu. Yeah, Vienna Kovu. Very nice, very nice. Have, have you seen this before, President? Silver. Have you seen this before? Ah, <sighs> it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Pretty amazing. Thank you for and preserving the culture. The recipe uh, in, in the copy book. In the book is here. The... Oh, the recipe in the book <laughs> is here. They have copied this one. It's incredible. So can I take this? Yes. Oh, nice. You're so kind. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a recipe. The what is in the book? That's a copy here. Oh, so nice. So nice. 106 recipes, 136 pages, ladies and gentlemen, written in the German language. And I found it in the Hotel Puntiar, Jagreb, Croatia. One of the iconic, historic hotel along with the museum with 3,000 cookbooks, recipes from around the world, from East capital of the world, Tokyo, to the western capital of the world, Toronto. Northern country of the world, Finland, to the southern country in the world, New Zealand. 
every part of the world is here. It's incredible. Thank you very much, my Thank friend. You. you are great. Thank you. You preserve the history. What is the name of this recipe? Uh, Bukovacce. Oh, is name, it famous? Uh, the name uh, Bukovacce. Uh, name. Uh, it's mushroom, a great mushroom. Yeah. Oh, this is another historic. Actually, it's my first time here, but so far I really like the ambience. It's your first pass. <laughs> mm.